Howdy folks, Dr. Will Wong here. Let me take just a little few minutes of your time and tell you about a nutritional therapy that can be of assistance to myasthenia gravis patients. Such a condition is kind of rare, but for the folks who suffer with it, the suffering is pretty intense. Maybe better said, the dysfunctions are fairly intense. So here's a therapy that can be used in conjunction with any kind of a drug therapy, that is, myasthenia gravis patients are undergoing without any contraindication. Zymescence, two to three capsules, three times a day, to lice away the antibodies, both acetylcholine nicotinic binding antibodies and muscle-specific tyrosine kinase antibodies. Now remember that antibodies are protein tagged as exogenous proteins, proteins that do not belong in the body. That's the way the immune system tags them. The systemic enzymes only eat, they only lyse exogenously labeled, exogenously protein tagged proteins. Therefore, it's logical that the enzymes would eat the antibodies created in this condition. Next, niacinamide, 25 to 50 milligrams, TID, three times a day, to mimic nicotine and increase nicotine available for the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors without the hot flash of the niacin or the extreme cost of the NAD supplements. In myasthenia gravis patients, nicotine depletes throughout the day and it affects their ability to contract muscle. Next, egg lecithin powder, not soy lecithin granules, but egg lecithin powder. The soy has estrogen in it. You don't want the estrogen because estrogen increases inflammation and fibrosis. We don't need that. There's enough of that in this condition already. One teaspoon, three times a day, to increase the acetylcholine level. The choline in the lecithin will help to increase acetylcholine levels. These also deplete throughout the day. Next, trimethylglycine to further increase choline for acetylcholine to be available in the brain. 500 milligrams, three times a day. Allergy Research, I believe, makes a good trimethylglycine supplement. We have trimethylglycine in our DMG-TMG, but the doctors or the myasthenia gravis patients might not want the yohimbine hydrochloride that's also in that particular product. So just go find yourself a high-quality trimethylglycine supplement and add it to the therapy. All these nutritional therapies are meant, again, to lower the level of antibodies the body is creating to attack its own tissue, increase the levels of choline so that the brain can make acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter, that gets affected and downregulated by this condition, and to increase the levels of nicotine that are available for muscular contraction. For the myasthenia gravis patients out there who try this therapy, hope it helps you, hope it gives you a boost, and helps you better make it through the day. I'll be chatting with you all again soon. Be well and God bless. I'm Dr. Will Wong.